So, hey guys, welcome to Comic Gaming. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell. Comment below, hit the like button, and maybe even share with your friends. Good job. We have cookies. And milk. Might be semen, I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Hey guys, welcome back to Comic Again. Today, I'm going to be doing a comic book review of Voltron, Defender of the Universe, Volume 1, Revelations. This is from Devil's Due Publishing. It was done by Jolly, Norton, Helinski, and Brown. Um, I was a little disappointed in the size of this graphic novel. Uh, is a lot smaller than I thought. It doesn't really fit in with the other graphic novels. See the size difference there. I don't know if you can tell that well, but there you, there you have it. Um, <clears throat> however, it is a good read. This is a retelling of the origin of the Voltron Force. Uh, Keith, Lance, Pidge, Hunk, and Sven. Uh, it's more modernized look. You have Lance who was just imprisoned for stealing a spacecraft and flying too close to a senator's suite at a hotel. Uh, Hunk, which is an expert mechanic. Pidge, which is a 15-year-old boy in this. Computer genius. Sven, who, he has a real attitude problem and uh, doesn't really like authority. Um, he almost landed himself in prison as well. And then Keith, who is, he's a martial arts expert. He runs his own dojo, but he mainly does it as just a hobby. It's just something to fill his time. Um, they are brought together by two high-ranking Galaxy Alliance officials, or Galaxy Garrison officials, I'm sorry, um, to go to Eris and locate Voltron. From days of long ago, five misfit explorers are sent to Eris to find Voltron, a legendary mechanical warrior split into five robot lions by an ancient curse. Once they reach Eris, they soon discover that there is more to the legend than they had believed, as they find themselves under attack from the dreaded Drool Empire. Now it's up to Keith, Lance, Sven, Hunk, Pidge, and their new ally, Princess Allura, to unearth the secrets of Voltron before it's too late. I will warn you guys, this is not like the uh, animated versions of Voltron. Does, there, ha there is cussing in it, there is death, killing, all kinds of stuff like that. Um, very good read. I really liked it. There's a picture of what Voltron looked like before he was split into five lines. As you can see, he had actual hands rather than lions. Uh, he had he also had actual feet rather than lion heads or feet as well. And it looks like he has just the helmet with the uh, little horns there rather than a lion head. Uh, Allura has renounced her title as princess because of the def devastation that's happened to her planet. She doesn't feel right being called princess until her planet is restored to its once glory, one time glory. Um, there is a full image of Voltron pre separation, which is a very cool look for him. I really like that. And it shows there what happened. Uh, it was actually a space goddess rather than um, Hagar in the form of a goddess who that separated him. Uh, Zarkon. In the original animated series, Zarkon was the supreme ruler of... It wasn't the Drool Empire, it was just Planet Doom. 
Um, however, in this, he's just one of the kings in the much larger Druul Empire. I can't remember the actual emperor's name, but in uh, def uh, Legendary Defender, the new Netflix series, uh, Zarkon is the emperor of the Druul Empire. So it it's kind of a hit and miss thing. Uh, you do get to see a nice representation of Koran in this series. Um, what happens is when uh, the five pilots reach Eris, they crash into the tomb of, or the crypt of Alteris, uh, the ancestral king of Eris. And he was actually the creator of Voltron. They do discover that the Green Lion is hidden within his crypt. And then the forces of Planet Doom begin attacking and they discover that there's other lions out there as well. You have the Yellow Lion which becomes unearthed in the desert. You have the Blue Lion which is unearthed at the bottom of a lake. The red lion, which is unearthed in a volcano. And then eventually, and as with this, um, let's see here. The ships look amazing. They, they look like the ones from the uh, original animated series. Um, the space mice, they aren't actually mice. They're robots um, that King Alfor had built for uh, Allura, yeah, Allura, I, for some reason I can't, I forget her name occasionally, but, and Keith does have his traditional mullet from the original series, uh, Sven doesn't even really look like Sven anymore, um, and it appears that whenever the pilot's um, get inside the lions, they actually merge uh, consciously with the lions. As you can see with their speech bubbles, um, their bubbles are like energy waves or whatever in the color of the lion that they're, they're piloting. And the sh lions do respond to thought rather than controls. Um, Let's see, Sven does have a very hard time. Uh, he ends up uh, getting damaged from piloting the lion. Um, I think in what they led to in this was that he was only meant to find the lion, but it was Princess Allura who was meant to pilot it. Um, and they do stick with the traditional... Um, Keith pilots the black lion... Lance pilots the blue or the uh, red lion. Sven and Allura pilot the blue lion. Page the green and Hunk the yellow. Uh, you do get to see a good look at Lotor, and it's revealed that uh, he and Allura were childhood sweethearts before Zarkon conquered Eris. You do get to see a nice image of a row beast. And they do pretty well stick with uh, how to unite Voltron from the original series. Um, let me see here. All right, let, let me read this to you real quick. Uh, Lance says, what the, oh God, it's happening again, Pidge. Same here, I've got no control. And then Keith Wish I understood what triggered this. Yeah, and is this going to fry it another of us this time? Alora says, Keith, everyone, I don't know how I know to say this, but believe me, this is right. Just stay focused, speak the words as they enter your mind. Let it come. Allura is right. I can feel it happening now. Yes, we can do this. We can do this. Form, feet, and legs. 
form, arms, and body. And I'll form the head. As you can see here, they are united. Uh, their consciousness are united as well as not only their robots. Uh, we are one body. We are one mind. We are Voltron. And of course they do end up defeating the Robeast. And leaves us off right there. Here is the cover gallery, which is really nice. I really like the suits, which it's revealed in the Legend Ford gr graphic novel, which I will be reviewing next time. Uh, why the suits are designed the way they are, and why Voltron was designed the way he was. Some nice cover artwork here. Um, there's Green Lion, and you can see Prince Lotor crushing Voltron in his hand. Voltron versus the Robeast. Sven in pain. Princess Allura. Got some sketchbook stuff here. And then in Volume 2, you get Vehicle Voltron. So there you have it, guys. Voltron, Defender of the Universe, Volume 1, Revelations. Must read. If you haven't had a chance, uh, go to your local comic book shop. Find Devil's Due Pun Publishing uh, area. Pick up Voltron. This is issues 1 through... Um, doesn't really see which issues it collects. Um, hmm. I'm sure if you got the normal size, like this one, it would have the issues it collects. Um, but this is just the mini version. I got it off Amazon. Um, so yeah, head on over to your comic book shop, Amazon, wherever, find Voltron, Defender of the Universe, Volume 1, Revelations, great addition to your Voltron collection. Take care, guys. And of course, if you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like, comment below, and share with your friends. <laughs> I hate you.